What's happening, everybody? I am your host, the Carolina Collector. And today we're going to take a look at a baseball jersey from a man that, quite frankly, needs no introduction. This man basically epitomized Yankees baseball. He is Yankees baseball and always will be Yankees baseball. From the dirty uniform to the black eyeliner underneath his eyes to taking a handful of uh, a kid's popcorn from the kid. If you ever saw that clip, clip on YouTube, Don Mattingly walks up to a little kid and takes a handful of popcorn and eats it like he's baseball. He is everything that baseball should be. This man broke records all across the board. The one unfortunate thing about this particular baseball player is that he never won a World Series. Before he joined the Yankees, they won a World Series. After he decided to take a break in 1996, they won a World Series. They brought in Tino Martinez to replace him. Unfortunately, that's how the world works sometimes, and that's how fate works, in my opinion. This man should be in the Hall of Fame this is none other than a Don Mattingly 1995 New York Yankees Mitchell and Ness jersey. So we're going to take a quick look at this, and I'll get into some of the details in a little bit. This is a remarkable, comfortable jersey. It is as close as what you're going to get to what Donnie Baseball himself would have worn on the field. Now, I do have an example of uh, one of the jerseys he would have won on a, uh, wore on the field. Excuse me. But uh, I can't prove or authenticate that it was a jersey that he actually wore. To my knowledge, he wore uh, Wilson jerseys. He wore uh, Russell athletic jerseys. He wore Rawlings jerseys. Um, I, I know that they're using Nike at this point. I know that there are Majestic jerseys out there. I happen to have one that's a uh, low-end replica, which looks pretty close to what this jersey is right here. But uh, Mitchell and Ness has always strived to create these jerseys to be as close to what the players would have worn on a field as possible and made it available to the public. They are expensive. I know there are a couple different versions of this jersey out there. Mine happens to be one that was made in China. This one is true to size. So we're going to take a look at some of those fine details right now. So as you can see, there's the Mitchell and Ness inside tag. Now, I'm not going to get into authentic jerseys versus uh, counterfeits or legacy jerseys. Uh, we'll talk about that in future videos, but uh, mine is a size 48 XL made in China, as you can see right there. Then we have the 1995 tag on the right side of the jersey. Then we look at your typical Mitchell and Ness jock tag. And you can see how nice and sharp the details are. I know there's a bunch of variants of these. We'll discuss that in future videos as well. On this particular jersey, since it's from 1995, you'll notice the black armband and a number seven representing Mickey Mantle in memoriam. And then you got the classic 23 on the back. And just one other little detail when it comes to these jerseys, depending on where the jersey was made, and when the jersey was made, come on, the care tag should be on the inside of the jersey. This is one of those details that a lot of the uh, counterfeiters miss. So there's the care tag, at least on this particular jersey. So But I'll get into a little bit of that. I really don't want to discuss authentics versus legacy jerseys, etc. You know, again, I hate to repeat myself, but, you know, you look at the placement of the number 23, you look at the shape of the shoulders, it's got that A cut to it, so to speak. You know, and with this particular jersey, it's got the uh, rounded bottom. And I saw a lot of YouTube content creators talking about their jerseys. They're always saying, why are the jerseys so long? Why do they have that cut on there? Well, it's quite simple. Because baseball players tuck their jerseys into their pants. I don't know if that's an MLB regulation that they have to have their jerseys tucked in, but that's the reason why, so they could tuck the jerseys into their pants. So these are made long intentionally, like this one is. But um, in particular, this jersey is true to size. It's a size 48 or XL. Now, another detail that I, I don't want to get too deep into, but there are no such thing as size 50 or uh, size 54 in these jerseys, at least to my knowledge, they run 48, 52, 56, etc. So um, don't be fooled whenever you see jerseys on eBay 
where they have a size 50. And to, at least to my knowledge, there's no such thing as a size 50. I'm sure there's, you know, the rare exception out there. But anyway, again, I'm going off topic here. I just wanted to give you some of those little details. But, you know, the 23 looks beautiful the way it's placed on a jersey. I mean, it's up high where it should be. The numbers are nice and crisp. I mean, it's just, it's, a, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing jersey from a great baseball player. You know, Don Mattingly now is in the days of uh, his coaching career. And uh, as you know, Don Mattingly has a bit of a reputation for being a fiery character as a coach. <laughs> so, I mean, how many times has he been booted off the field by umpires for arguing and stuff? Well, that's why he's known as Donnie Baseball. There's a short clip that's floating around on YouTube where um, I forgot who it was. I hit a foul ball and Donnie Baseball's there in the dugout. And he's kind of like cavalier and nonchalant. The ball comes his way and he catches it with one hand. And he already had a baseball in his hand. And even the announcers are like, oh, there's the Golden Glove winner, you know, catching a ball like it's nothing. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool, man. But anyway, like I said, this is my Don Mattingly 1995 Mitchell and Ness Authentic Jersey. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thank you so much. I am the Carolina Collector. Take care, everyone, and God bless.